let's go to our next topic which is about latch based timing and it's an interesting topic and probably not very well understood by everyone so we'll try to understand it conceptually and with more clarity in a flop based design so far we have seen flop based design flop based design data is launched and captured on clock edges so basically let's see this flop will launch data this flop will launch data on this clock edge and the next flop will capture the data on the corresponding clock edge so data is launched and captured captured on clock edges and there is very little flexibility on that that it will be captured on clock edges now what happens because of that let's say you have an additional flop here and let's say this logic delay is more and this logic delay is less okay now because of that uh, because of the uh, edges based launch and capture no matter if this delay is more you still have to meet this time in one clock period this again you have to meet in one clock period so there is little flexibility in using let's say if this delay is more can i use it here flop based design does not provide those flexibilities now let's see how it differs from a latch based design so latches are not edge edge based they are level sensitive which means they uh, capture the data either when clock is high or clock is low so here we have positive level latch what that means is when the clock changes from 0 to 1 the latch can start capturing the data this is known as open edge of the clock and when clock goes from 1 to 0 it closes and does not stop capturing the data during the period which during the time time when launch can uh, when latch can cap capture the data is known as the period where latch is transparent so it is trans this is the period where latch latch is transparent and it acts like a buffer that whatever comes to deep in goes to the output now in this case how does latch provide more flexibility than flop so la la once the latch opens it can capture the data here it can capture the data here it can capture the data here so in this case data actually arrives later than the clock edge and latch can still capture that data from d to q pin if the data arrives earlier which is the case here where as soon as the latch opens or clock goes from 0 to 1 it can capture the data so if data arrives earlier it behaves as flop was behaving but if la la data arrives later like in this case which came after the clock edge it can still capture the data so latch provides little bit more flexibility in terms of that that you need not necessarily have that data arrives before the clock edge data can arrive later than clock edge as well and you can still capture it like in this case deep in changes after clock has gone high and latch is still able to capture the data so it provides more flexibility how that flexibility can be used we'll understand uh, using one more example so let's see this case where you have a flop here it is launching the data then the data is captured by a positive level latch and then there is another flop in the fan out so let's first see the case where basically your disk delay ld is less and data actually arrives before the clock edge so here let's see if data arrives before the clock edge there is no difference in terms of how latch would behave or flop would behave and you will cap 
latch will open and capture the data at the clock edge and it will capture the data and next cycle of the clock will be used for the logic next so for this data will be captured here and then next full cycle will be used for the next flow so if data arrives earlier there is no difference between how the flock would have behaved or how latch is behaving so data arrives earlier this data is captured here then next full clock cycle is given to the next logic now let's say data arrives later than the clock edge so data arrives here if this were a flop you would have setup timing violation because data is arriving later than the clock edge it should have arrived sometime before the clock edge so if this were flop you would have had a setup time violation but in case of latch data arrives later here so you get this your data gets on this latch your data gets captured here and for the next logic you get little less than one clock cycle to meet time so latch allowed you that flexibility that if this logic delay was more and maybe this logic delay was lesser you can still meet timing by allowing some data to take some time from there to here and give less than one clock cycle for the next logic this is known as time borrowing so what basically you are doing is rather than forcing the data to arrive before the clock edge and then give one full clock cycle to the next logic you are taking some amount of time from the next full clock cycle and giving it to the latch to meet timing so borrowing the time from this path and giving it to here so that this particular path can meet timing and latch provides this flexibility and this is known as time borrowing now what how much time can you borrow okay so time you can if the data you know arrived earlier it will have like a flop if data arrive little bit later but still in the transparent period of the uh, latch transparent phase of the latch you could meet timing by borrowing from the next cycle but if data arrive later than the trans period which is here you cannot meet timing because you have missed the window where latch could have captured the data so the worst case can be data can arrive as late as when the latch closes it has to arrive earlier than that if it arrives later than that then you are not meeting timing so latch based design allow this flexibility of time borrowing and which can be useful in the cases where some part of the logic has more delay and some part of the logic has less delay and you can borrow time from the next cycle to here to meet latch timing this is this flexibility does not exist for flop based design 